everyone, my name is Denzel Rodriguez and this video is going to be primarily about making sure you start off on the right foot when you begin on this debt-free journey. Okay, making sure that you've got the right concepts downloaded in your brain so that you understand where you're at and where you need to go. And sometimes what we have already in our brains is not going to help us get to where we need to go so sometimes we have to drop some some pre-thoughts that we have in our mind or these ideas that you come up with now i'm not telling you to get rid of all your ideas but i am saying the things that i teach on this channel please do not let it confuse you just take it for what it is try to come into it blank so that you allow yourself to truly learn something new and allow something to download inside of your head. So, I'm gonna answer a question on my YouTube channel here. I get tons of questions in the comments. So I'm just gonna pick and choose and try to do as many videos as I can answering these you know, preliminary pre-game questions before we you know, get started on paying off all our debt, becoming debt-free, starting Velocity Banking, building up that policy that we wanna build up, establishing the kingdom, right that we want to have for our families and for ourselves and the people around us so question from your move bro question is i want to use my 401k to fund my policy there is not a whole lot of money in there i understand it would be a taxable event to cash out that's correct the problem is i recently took out a loan for half the value now uh, for some of you who may not know that you got 401ks, I recently was dealing with a client of mine that thought that they can pull out this big chunk of money, but in fact, because it was within like a 12-month period, with a lot of 401ks, you can only take out maybe like two loans in a year, right? So like, let's say you've got 100000 in your 401k, you borrow twenty. dollars um, Then I think the next time you go to borrow, you can only borrow half of what you originally borrowed or something like that. There's there's some rules. You know, that them 401ks, man, they're, they're, they really strap your money up. They just lock it up. It's, it's very hard to get access to it without fees and, you know, going through hurdles and obstacles. But with the right coaching, we can make it happen. Okay? So in this case, he's dealing with that issue. There's not There's no way around that. So you can only take out half of what he thought right so he can only take out the remaining balance until i no longer he says he no longer works at his current job however under certain circumstances you can take out more medical down payment on a home primary residence etc yeah so there are some you know instances where you can you can take out more money for your 401k but i, I think you have to have like a written letter and you got to give them a reason why and all that good stuff so he says i only would be able to take out about four to five K through this option because he's buying a home. His goal is to take out the four grand and actually start a policy, then take a loan from that policy to pay off his credit cards and debt, then pay back the policy. Hence, that's doing velocity banking and infinite banking together. He says, what do you think about this plan? I think it's a terrible plan, to be honest with you. I First thing I noticed, don't have the capital. What he or she is forgetting is the cost of insurance that first two years. So the first year and the second year with any whole life policy when you're designing it for the infinite banking concept, right? We're not just trying to buy life insurance here. We're trying to have as much as our as much of our money go into cash and as very little as possible go into premium expense so here's the thing if i only got four or five grand capital to work with i don't think we have any business trying to establish the policy just yet that's too small right four or five grand uh, uh two grand three grand like these are these are too small for what we really want to do in the future when it comes to you know paying off debt and leveraging the policy to our advantage 
if we start off small, understand our MEC limits are not going to be that high. The reason why we don't want it that high is because of the cost, right? So with any uh, insurance company, they will allow you to put in 10 times your, your base policy insurance, right? So we want to make sure if I'm putting in five grand and my premium expense is 500 bucks, I can only put in five grand. That's it, period, you know? Um, or if my, if my MEC limit on a $5,000 policy is 8,000 or 10,000, whatever, you know, the, the, the amount, your insurance expense would probably be somewhere around 800 or a thousand bucks. There's, there's not a whole lot of room to work with here. Okay. And what he wants to do with the policy with all my clients want to be able to do is take out a chunk of money to pay off debt. Now, how much debt does he have on the credit cards and other debts? I don't know. I'm assuming it's way more than 5k, right? So we don't have a lot of room to work with. I think the best option is to do what I always say. Get the line of credit first. Get a line of credit first. Get your cash flow right. Okay? Make sure you know your numbers. Income, expenses, debt, cash flow. Try to get your credit score up. Get access to a, a personal line of credit or even a HELOC. Okay? That 4 to 5K that he, he pulls out of that 401K... I would say, you know what, why don't we wait till that period is over where you can actually pull out more money at once to have more capital to work with. I would, maybe I want to leave that alone for right now and maybe just focus on getting my numbers right, getting my cash flow right, getting my credit score up, right? Even if I have to increase income, I mean, 10x, right? We, I mean, a lot of problems can get solved just by... 10xing our income right so i work with a lot of people and i have a lot of viewers right now and you guys want to go from zero and you're trying to jump to a hundred or you're trying to skip all the baby steps i'm like wait a minute if you're not making 10 grand a month 15 grand a month 20 grand a month you need to take things step by step okay you need to really uh make sure You've got a general idea of what's going on in your household. Because the other thing you want to account for is what are some unexpected bills, expenses, right? What are some things that might be coming up? Tax bills, medical bills. Okay, what are, what are these annual insurance, right? Or, or homeowner's insurance. A lot of you guys aren't accounting for these other bills that maybe are not monthly bills, and then you go to start doing velocity banking, and now you put yourself in a bind because you're like, wait a minute, I thought if I chunked at this, my cash flow would go up, and now I got this new bill, and now I find myself borrowing more and more money. So do not let velocity banking trick you into borrowing a bunch of money from your different assets. A lot of cases, let me tell you, a lot of the cases that I do, a lot of scenarios that I run, You'll see, I barely ever pull from people's assets. Barely. I really don't do that many examples. When I'm, you know, pulling from people's 401k accounts, retirement accounts, savings accounts, I barely do that. I leave that to the client as a preference. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's nice to have like that emergency account, kind of like what Dave Ramsey says, but see, I'm on another level where it's like a thousand dollars just ain't gonna cut it for me, all right? So I need to make sure I get a, you know, build up these different areas. What I do say is cut off saving, stop saving, stop investing, stop putting your money towards all these other areas, redirect all the cash flow back to you. That's what I do say. When it comes to liquidating, borrowing from assets, I you, you know the videos I've done, they're usually with cases where someone has 200, 300, 400,000 in a 401k account, or they have the ability to take out like 30k, 20k, like we got some, like a nice cushion of money that I can leverage to my advantage to start the policy, yes, 
or to get that line of credit. And then now I've got two different sets of monies that I can leverage to start give me give me a boost to start doing velocity banking with. So those are some things to consider, my friend. I hope that helps for you. Take it easy. Okay, you got four to five grand, man. Just let that sit there. Let's get your credit up. All right. Let's get your, you know, income right. All right. I don't know what your income is, but let's make sure we got those numbers right. We got our cash flow up, rocking. We got that line of credit. We'll get this thing rolling. My name is Denzel. Hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.